haven't done any reviews in a while, so I thought I'd um, record some of these new Filson bags that I've purchased. This is the latest one that I received today. It's the uh, Filson, I guess, um, original briefcase. I got it in um, otter green as a color. Got it today. Um, bought it from a place called Outland. Uh, let me see the name here. Bought it online. I found it on Amazon. I got it online at a place called Outland USA. Um, picked this up for uh, $225. Shipping was free, so that's all I paid plus tax. Um, let me see this here. This is the, the quality is obviously pretty good. Uh, thick canvas. You can go to Filson's website, filson.com, and read up on their bags and how they make it. I've been searching online, looking for a new satchel. I decided to buy this one. There's a, there's a, also an, a larger version called the laptop bag. This one's only four inches thick, um, and the other one is like six inches thick. I thought this would be more uh, more portable, easier to carry around. Um, think about those bags that carry a lot of stuff. You tend to put more stuff in there, and you tend to carry on more things than you actually need. So when you have small things like this, it kind of forces you to simplify and just carry the, the essentials, uh, which in my case is like a laptop and a notepad. And if we travel, probably plan to carry like a, I don't know, camera or something or a notebook, something like that. Anyway, let's, let me show you... Um, what I got here. This is leather bridle straps, brass hardware. You see that it's bar tacked on both sides. Really good, good quality of leather. Um, one thing I noticed though is that the leather doesn't go all the way down the bag. You know, like how there are some satchels, like say, uh, I guess, lands in. Um, they, they have the cloth that goes all the way down the bag. The leather here only is only stitched right... I don't know if you can see that, but... It stops here and it's like cross-stitched on the fabric. It doesn't go all the way down the length of the bag and loop around like it does on on their, um, their duffel bag. So I'm not sure how long that'll last before it starts to tear out. I tend to beat up on these bags quite a bit, but... Let's, let me show you what I can fit in here. Uh, on the side pocket, it's got two pockets, two external pockets that you can, that are just barely wide enough to fit like a notepad or a manila folder. In this case, just for as an example, I put my uh, eight and a half by eleven notepad that I use for taking notes. Um, this here, and inside. So, like I said, it's four inches thick. Four inches thick by, let's see here, usual brief, by about 16 inches wide and about 12 inches high, so 16 by 12 about. I don't know, you can probably verify the exact dimensions on the website, but it's a basic satchel, normal size, four inches thick. Uh, zippers are really good. So what I got in here is my laptop and power and all that. Now this doesn't go down very deep like in other satchels like the Lands End. It goes, comes down all the way and you can just open it wide. This comes down maybe 25% a quarter of the way. Um, and it's just barely big enough to fit my laptop which is uh, a 15 inch ThinkPad. Put that here. Plus the power cord, plus the mouse. And then there's just enough room to fit in a few more notebooks, notepads, notes. So it's got two internal pockets. 
So I can get a flashlight on there so you can get, get it to look a little lighter. Hold on. I can get some light on there. Yeah, there you go. This is this is probably better than this right under the light. Yeah, much better. So this is the this this is also a little top flap that folds over and buckles. But inside you've got kind of like the middle part where you would put the laptop and then you've got two little side pockets. One here where I got like paracord and stuff for my iPhone and garbage bag for some reason and pens and pencils. Extra thing of glasses. much garbage but I threw it all in there just to, so you can have an example of how much stuff this thing can hold it's not gonna hold as much as like say a day pack I mean if you really need to carry around a lunch with your laptop and two thick dictionaries you probably want to carry around a Jansport backpack instead of this but this here is like I find myself um, needing not needing that much space as a backpack most of the time nowadays um, I just need something to carry around like a notebook and my, and my computer and that's about it. So this Filson bag kind of did the trick. I got tired of carrying around those like um, thrift store bags. I mean, those also work pretty good, but I also kind of wanted to have something that was good quality. So I thought I'd go with the Filson. I've been reading about this this bag online for quite a quite a while. Pretty good quality. Oh, let's see. Canvas is really good material. It's really thick. 